Security guard. Oh no. It's a beautiful S15. Let's have a quick look at that. DRE7, A80 Supra. Yes, we got the car. Literally cutting the key. Send a bunch of wire in there to make it work. Welcome to today's video. We're at the auctions and we got to quickly rush to let's the go, crash let's corner. Go, let's go. We've got 20 minutes to check out a car that we may be bidding and buying today. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so glad this thing's a four wheel drive right now. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at this thing. Damn. She's jacked up. All right, we just park here, I guess. Park here. All right, we're going to go look at this car and we've got like 15 minutes left if we're lucky. And there's a. Okay, I'm going to back up a bit where there's less less deeper water because yeah we're taking our shoes off for sure man oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm already prepared <laughs> nice snow on your shoes oh god oh no so the security guard oh no the security guard wouldn't let us walk barefoot through here he's worried we're going to cut our foot on some glass because this is the crash corner and uh well yeah look at that evo 8 there crashed all right, so this is the 350Z that I'm looking at today. It's a HR. Apparently, it doesn't start. There's something wrong with it. It doesn't have the key. That's what's wrong with it. Oh, so there's no key for this car. No. But they can sell it. Yep. Okay, we'll just put a push button in it. Probably. I think it's a good car. Well, we could just pay for someone to barrel it, right? Yeah. All right, this is the car then. All right, well, we're gonna go bid on this thing. Apparently the odometer's been wound back at some point. That's about it. Um, otherwise, it seems like it's just lost key. Dude, my feet are full of water. How are we gonna walk into the auction house and bid? I think we're going barefoot. Okay, let's do it. all right, let's go. I mean, the well, car's good, right? There's no yeah, scratches. I mean, anything. it looks good, yeah. Like, I, I don't know what else to look for. If it's missing a key, we can't start it up. Let's go bid on it, let's go. <laughs> all right. Through the flood water we go. We're literally swimming back. <laughs> We're literally. <laughs> yeah. Security guard. Why couldn't we do that barefoot? I don't get that. Hey, don't drop, don't drop that jump pack in the water right now. I We're know, both dead. I know, I know. <laughs> Getting this shoe off. Oh. Man, that was the last thing I wanted to do today. Just to look at a car. I'm gonna stick these kind of here where I don't mind if it gets wet. All right, let's go try and bid on this thing if we got time. Dude, no way, you got it for 4,300. Yes, we got the car. <laughs> I now own a 350Z, everybody. Congratulations, yes. bro. That was not the car we were supposed to buy today, but <laughs> it'll do. <laughs> this is the grossest feeling ever in the auction house with the soggiest, wettest shoes ever. So we're in the bidding room right now, and this 350Z is pretty much the same. HR, manual, but has keys and everything. And watch this thing, it's already over close to seven grand right now. This is a, oh, what'd that just sell for? 670, that wasn't an HR. It wasn't a HR? It was a 2002. Oh, it was 2002, so that was a DE. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. And we got ours for way cheaper than that. This S13 here, that's a Q's. It's in pretty bad shape aesthetically, but it's gonna still sell for probably over like 10 grand, easy. This is an Evo 2, Evo 1 or something. Damn, that's already over 10 grand. Prices are so messed up. Oh, that sold pretty cheap actually. 32 GTR, starting at 10 grand. Damn, this is almost at 20 grand. Dude, Vivo has really gone up that much in price, especially yeah. the ones and twos. Yeah. Far out. Dude. So if you guys don't know, this is like $19,000 USD roughly right now. And now it's 20. Jeez, that's crazy. It's selling now too, see how it's gone red? Here comes this GTR. Watch this thing climb up. This GTR has apparently 100,000 kilometers. Yeah, but it's a grade two. Grade two though, it's got a lot of accident, accident history and rust. Still selling over 20 grand. Dude, this Evo's still going. 24 grand roughly right now. Oh, sold for 23.8. Yo, what's this 350Z? It's also a DE. DE, so like 2003. It's got an LSD in there. Do you want to buy it and take the dip off? No, <laughs> I don't. I'll just get a dip from Nismo. Dude, this GTR is a great two and it's selling for over 30 grand now. That's ridiculous. 
car prices are so messed up. So May's just messaging me, she just finished signing up to get her license um, and classes are starting from the end of August. So I'm gonna tell her right now, I bought another car. I bought you a car. <laughs> just mid, mid interrupt, like mid conversation interrupt her. Let's see what she says. Eh. What did I buy? <laughs> Secret. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now I need to go buy like just some stupid K car for her. <laughs> we'll give her the Daihatsu, the uh, not okay van. She can have that. It's going to be a, <laughs> one of those weird ones. <laughs> Alright, she said she was going to purposely drive it into a pole for me. <laughs> I said it's not fair. <laughs> I'm not going to let her drive this thing. I figured we'd go for a little bit of a walk and check out some of the cars that are here getting sold today. Whew, nice Bayside Blue 34 behind us. We'll get a look at that later, but I got some explaining to do. So I was not expecting to actually buy that 350Z today. <laughs> I was initially coming to the auctions to bid on an entirely different car. Actually, like just entirely different but um, what ended up happening let's get out of the sun so what ended up happening was the particular car model that I wanted to bid on there was only one this week and all the rest of them were going to be in the following week or later on in the month so um, and the, the only one that was available to bid on didn't meet my requirements so I was like okay well let's look and see if any of these other cars you know like I was looking obviously for a 350z at some point in the future let's see if there's any HR models that are going to be uh, selling today and uh, one popped up in the crash corner but it wasn't crashed and it was just missing a key so i was like huh that could be a good opportunity like to get a good deal on a hr because hr 350z's manual over here they sell for easily like 15 16 maybe even eighteen thousand dollars at the moment in japan so the fact that we were able to pick that up and probably drive away for about five thousand dollars is a steal now bear in mind i am going to have to take this to nissan probably or we can try and see if maybe on yahoo auctions from like a crash 350z uh we can get like the bcm module and a key and a fob or something like that but i think the easiest solution is just take it to nissan get them to get the key remade for it and a new fob for the bcm that's in there it's probably going to cost me around like a thousand dollars maybe even a bit more like fifteen hundred dollars we're still looking at a car that's cost me less than half like even less like a quarter of what it probably would have cost so we've done really really well today <laughs> and uh um yeah <laughs> i don't really know what to say i was not expecting to get the 350z today so uh that happened <laughs> but yeah let's take a look at what's here there's definitely some interesting cars there's this gtr here it's like a V-Spec. It can't be a V-Spec tuner, really. It's got some nice Nismo Aero parts standoffs. It's actually really nice. The car's been resprayed before, that's for sure. Ganadors, this thing would have sold for a lot of money if it sold today. It's actually really nice. The hood's popped. Shall we have a look under here? Oh, whoops. We did not want to just dump all that water on there. Hey, that's very interesting. Look at that oil filter cooler that's on there. Huh. Looks like this has been tried, like it had a lot of modifications done on it and then they turned it back to stock and put the stock turbos back on there. I would not be surprised if that used to have a big single. Um, but yeah, it's got a lot of aftermarket parts. Lots of carbon interior parts. Interesting. And then uh, let's have a look at that Bayside Blue 34 GTR. There's another one here with a really gross carbon hood that's like faded. Really good tell sign actually that this was like probably kept outside for most of its life. At least this guy's like blocked off the vent to stop water from getting in. It looks really clean, all things considered. Not too bad. The carbon rises. The lower carbon rises, I think, too. Normally they're supposed to be higher than that. Not too bad interior wise. Looks relatively clean. And then there was this other one up here that we walked past. This one looks really nice. Um, so you can see it's got the OEM risers, as I was saying, those other carbon ones lowered the wing on that one that we just looked at. This one's really clean, actually. I like the TEs, Nardi wheel. It's got like some really nice, like tasteful mods on here that I would definitely, I would jump at. This car's been really nicely looked after. Carbon lip. 
Yeah. See, what's crazy is you used to be able to buy these for less than $20,000 a few years back. Now, that'll go for a lot of money. Like, crazy money. Jeez, I'm upset. All right, let's go look at some more affordable cars. We've got this really nice Hokoska here. Damn, nicely modified too. Typical kind of over fenders and stuff. Very nice. It's kind of crazy how much these are selling for these days too. Interior is in relatively good condition too. Not bad. Let's keep walking, see what we can find. Ooh, nice lime green Porsche. I'm sure that's not really what the color's called, but it looks lime green to me in person. 35 GTR. Let's keep walking. I want to get to the manual section all the way up the back here. The glare is so crazy right now because of the massive thunderstorm. And now it's like all just reflecting off everything. My eyes are killing me. One thing I forgot to mention as well is just like because of the weather and everything, we weren't able to get to the auctions on time today. So we got here super late and then we only had 20 minutes to go check out the car and it's not in the normal auction yard that we're in now. It's in the crashed one, which is about a five, 10 minute drive away from here. So there was just no way we were gonna get there. And then with all the flooding and stuff and trying to go look at the car and all of that, like it just worked out so well having Jeff in the auction room bidding for us. So we we're very fortunate. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beautiful S15. Let's have a quick look at that. Damn, another 350Z too. This one's a DE. Dude, I'm so hyped we got a HR 350Z. Sure, we're gonna have to deal with some weird stuff, but I think we're good. You can really tell we're in the MT corner, the import corner. <laughs> well, the, you can't call it the import corner, I guess, here, because it's all Japanese cars in Japan. Dude, Starlet. When am I gonna get a Starlet? I need a Starlet on the channel, actually. This thing looks ready to rip. It's got a cage and everything. All right, all right, is it open or locked? Oh, it's locked, bummer. <laughs> Anyways, uh, damn, that's not, uh, got excited for a second. I thought from a distance that may have been an original aero front bar, but it's not. Spec R, looks relatively clean. Cage, oh, it's got the cheap Cusco. This is not a cage, it's just a side support. These aren't that good, actually. They do okay, though. There's some kind of protection. Not too bad. Oh, look at that, my man. It's got a uh, Yashio factory water temp meter one in here. These things are actually rare and hard to find these days. It's really cool. Keys are in here. Let's start her up. A few switches. That did not sound too good. The tension is on its way out for sure. You heard that clunking at the start. This is a cool little auto gauge. Sounds relatively stock. I don't like that there's a lot of rust down here though. That worries me. Um, still probably a really good car. The rears are really balled it out. The guy's been having some fun. But yeah, anyways, looks like a clean car from the outside. I'm not gonna get down and look under it just because it's so wet right now. Um, we got a 32 GTST. Look at this Supra, A80 Supra, two side by side. <sighs> Once you notice this, so see the A80 Supra and then see the NB. The NB Roadster or the NB Miata kind of looks a little bit like a, a smaller, cuter version of a Supra, don't you think? Once you see that, you won't be able to unsee it. Just that front section there. Just a little bit, a little bit. Nah, I'm, who am I kidding? The 34 GTT Turbo four-door. Actually watched this thing sell before. This thing actually sold for over $20,000. There's a lot of cool cars here today. Let's keep walking around and see what we can find. Just notice there's Evo sitting here and the fog lights are on, so to make sure this guy doesn't end up with a flat battery. This looks really tidy, actually. Let's make sure these are all off here. Where's the fog light switch? That one, I think, should be off now. Look at me, see? Saving this guy from having a flat battery, but I do want to look at this. It looks nice. The paint doesn't look original. It definitely looks like it's been resprayed. Oh, I always get confused on these things where they are. Here, I think. There we go. Wow, this is actually really tidy. None of the usual rust spots. Dang, this is well looked after. Must have sat in a garage all its life. Not a single bit of rust there either. Wow, this looks really good. It does look resprayed though, unless like the paint was like really well looked after. Yeah, this thing is very, very clean. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of. I need to find something like this with like a blown engine that doesn't have like the best condition body or paint like this. Like this would be so good to just buy and rip off the bat I feel, but I need to find something that's a bit more beaten up and got like a blown engine or something just for parts for my Evo. It's kind of, 
really getting hard to find stuff to rebuild my Evo at the moment. I'm worried actually. Um, we're still waiting for the body guy though to uh, tell us that he's now got space to take it on and time. But yeah, trying to find parts right now is a bit of an issue. We may end up just buying a fully running car and using that. Yo, kind of like a metallic pink S14. Nice. This thing's a... Uh, a Zenki too, not bad, okay. Tires, definitely just something they had lying around that they threw on there. You can see all the dry rot cracks. Whew, pretty clean actually, not too bad. Not too bad. Don't see any major rust in any of the usual places. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Say woody. <laughs> not too bad, old bride seat. Cage doesn't smell too bad in here either. Oh, battery's dead, dead. S14s always trip me out with how like the vent was built in like this to the the side um, panels, and then like how there's a section here that connects to this vent. Still not a bad car. Let's see, ooh, 180. Okay, okay, this looks nice. Loving the little ducktail. Yeah, that's nice. Hasn't really uh, been run for a while. It looks like the exhaust has got a whole bunch of like rusty stuff sitting in it. Looks really tidy there actually inside. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's make sure we're in neutral. Ah, oh, she's flat too. Bummer. Still looks really nice though. I like these over fenders. Kind of nice. A lot of space there for a bunch of car stuff if you're drifting. <laughs> not too bad. Let's keep looking, look at this, look at this uh, roadster, kind of nice. Oh man, oh, I miss, I miss my uh, Miata that we gave away in the States. This thing is clean, holy moly, look how clean that is. Beautiful. Hmm. 33 GTR. Dude, so many cars here today actually. Fefi already gone because we're here late. Oh look, another Evo 6. Dude, this would be perfect to just get everything from for my car. The only problem is, is trying to find one that has roll-up windows. I think I need to get like a CE Lancer or something from the US and get parts out of that. But uh, yeah, that's another issue is trying to find one where it doesn't have electric windows for door cards because the uh, TME RS, so you guys would probably get very mad at me if I put electric windows in that because that would be unauthentic. Let's see there. Ooh, okay, engine bay's been cleaned up. No rust in the usual places. This is a TME because of the red stripe there. It is an SNGF as well. So yeah, definitely a Tommy Mac. Not an RS though, just normal TME. Looks clean though, looks well. Definitely a lot of silicon spray's been sprayed on this to make it look nice, but no rust in the usual places. A little bit of surface around the battery tray, which is normal. Nothing in any of these spots on the struts or anything on the firewall. Really clean actually. This probably is gonna sell for a fair bit of money. Really nice. This color is also kind of sought after. Really nice. FDRX7, A80 Supra. This thing's been sitting outside for a while. It's got a lot of paint fade on it. Overall, doesn't look too bad. Dash is definitely how you're going. Missing a full uh, center console. There's holes in the dash over there from something being mounted. It's got a battery and a key. Will it start? Nope. <laughs> Yo, wait. There's D1 there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I remember Mio, however you pronounce that. This thing is cool. See an old TA Celica like this here? Very cool. Behind a STI. Looks like it's got a fair bit of rust actually under the wing there. Is that a regular thing on these? Didn't know that. Interesting. This thing looks relatively nice though. Nice old school Nardi. It's got a <laughs> stereo installed in there and stuff. Why do these old cars always have such a mess of wiring under there, hey? Oh, that accelerator pedal though, that looks interesting. Huh. Still, I love these old cars. They look super cool. It's like in the era where like Japanese companies were trying to pretty much copy the Mustang. <laughs> Not too bad. Uh, another Evo, geez man, finding so many Evos today. Need to stop spending my money on 
cheap cars that need work and buy an Evo for parts. This one looks like it's a TME too. It's got the red stripe. SNGF as well. Jeez, so many TMEs coming in. I didn't realize there were so many of the TMEs. The RSs are obviously the rare ones. This one's got a bit of rust in the corner and stuff, usual places. Not too bad though. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Look, this thing's still here. This is still here. This is still here. I don't think this is ever gonna sell. The guy like has some crazy reserve price on it. It's probably never gonna sell unless he finally just takes the reserve off. Bunch of 32s here. GTS4, GTR, GTST. What have we got here? Nice FD RX7. Those wheels are kind of cool. Evo 2. Yeah. Oh, Hachiroku. Look at this. This is cool. It's pretty clean. It's not a hatchback, though. Still, I love looking in these things. Hang on. So nice to see. Nice little four age. It's just so simple and tiny. So we got a GC8, an RA edition, I guess. Unfortunately, seen better days. Still not too bad. It's got the roof pop, hence it being an RA. Front end could do with a bit of love, but I mean, that's a good fixer upper for someone. Man, there's so many cool cars here today. Yo, what's this pink thing up here? 180 on my favorite wheels, RG2s, RGDs. Not too bad. Not too bad. Munted up fan though. <laughs> Interior's all stripped out. But I wanted to look at this pink thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh man, it's got one of these crazy horns. Wait, if this thing has battery, we're well, totally pulling it. Oh, the stance. Yo, we should buy this for May for our first car. Oh, what is this, like a V35 Skyline, I guess? Um, with the biggest workmeisters I think I've ever seen. Oh, it does have keys. Guys, guys, guys. That's not, the, that's not it, that's not it. Where's the button for it? Come on, where's the button for that big loud ass air horn? I saw it. Now, so I need to get one of these keys programmed for my uh, 350Z that we bought today. Um, is there a switch here somewhere for that, that horn? Damn it, man, I wanna hear, why is this like, taking off like a jet engine right now. Let's pop the hood. Damn it, I wanted to hear that air horn. Why can't I touch that? The arrow's like in the way. Hang on. Give me a second here, lads. There we go. Whew. So the air horn's like all down in here. Is this gonna stay up? No, it's like weird, but the air horn's down in there. Maybe it's not wired in anymore and they disconnected it for the auctions, I don't know, but I'm bummed. I thought we we're gonna hear the huge air horn on that. And coming up here, we got a 370Z, another S15, R33, R34, GTT four-door, RX-8, even RX-8s have gone up in price now, it's kind of crazy. 32, it's like a GTST, 350Z there, oh, that's kind of, we, rear louvers look cool. Yo, this is sick. Old school crown. Yikes. Ugh. That engine bay looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Another 34. This looks like a GT non-turbo. Let's see, am I right? Oh, whoa, it's been turbo swapped. That, yeah, it's definitely GT interior. Turbo swapped though. Yeah, turbo swapped GT. Interesting. So weird to see a 34 with that space there instead of the gauges. Not bad, looks clean though. 32 GTST, Subarus, GTR here, that's kind of weird. Is it a real GTR? Yeah, it is, okay, interesting. So weird to see a GTR in this section. All right, oh dude, this S13 looks kind of nice. It's like teal green, not too bad. A little bit of a big wang. Interior is all stripped out, it's locked. Yeah, not too bad. After all that crazy weather today, always get an epic sunset. It's such a Queensland Australian thing. Shout out to all my guys in Australia and Queensland that know what I'm talking about. 
So before we can load the 350Z on Roab's truck, I'm helping him drop off some cars that he's selling in the auction next week. One of them is this clean as Datsun Sunny Ute. This thing has like 9,000 kilometers on it. It is, I've never seen interior on one of these this clean. It looks brand new, it's amazing. Seriously, the cleanest Datsun Sunny Ute I've ever seen. So anyways, we're dropping this off in the auction and then uh, yeah, this will be, I guess, available for anyone who wants to buy it next week. It's kind of crazy to be honest. And he's bringing off a 34 GT. So it's like a RB20 little small thing there. Um, not the single cam one, the dual cam RB20 NA, like the RB20 Neo NA engine. But that thing should still get him a fair bit of money actually. They're selling for a fair bit of money. All right, he's off. Now time for me to get moving in this little thing. Listen to this carburetor. Sounds so cool. I love it. Definitely not the best leg space. Yes, I'm still barefoot, by the way, because my shoes are drenched. So we are now in the crash section zone. <laughs> but unfortunately, it seems like after five, they don't operate the forklifts. So we're now trying to figure out a way to get this onto Roab's truck. And the steering wheel is locked. Of course, there's no car key. Um, now, we've heard that apparently there's a guy here that can actually cut keys for cars and make keys for cars at the auctions so we're just making a few calls and trying to see if he's still here if he's still here he might be able to cut a key for us while he's here um, and then we can get this loaded up on we won't be able to start it until we get a key from nissan though with the immobilizer programmed so but at least we can put it in and unlock the steering wheel and push this thing out that's the goal so we can push this thing out we can get it on Roab's truck but uh, yeah, otherwise, looking over the car, like you can really tell that, that someone probably lost the key for this a long time ago and it's been sitting in someone's yard for a very long time. Um, you can tell just by like, see how the clear coat on this carbon wing is faded. There's a few other places where the clear coat and like just the paint's faded from sitting in the sun for so long. I think most of that will actually buff out and look really nice. This though, we might need to get this buffed and then re-clear coated. I'm pretty sure it's all saveable, just a bit of... Bit of uh, bit of elbow grease should get that fixed out real well. Headlights need a polish, usual kind of stuff for sitting in so long in the sun, but overall the car looks actually pretty decent. I'm really hyped on this actually, it's such a bargain. Like I said, the price of these cars skyrocketing so much these days, it's kind of insane. But yeah, we did a really good deal on this thing. And everywhere I look at it, it seems like it's got low mileage. Um, the sticker in the door says it was serviced at like 50,000 kilometers and we looked up the last time it was registered and known the mileage was only 100,000 kilometers. So there's a good chance that this thing has still got low miles, which will be really cool. So this is blowing my mind, but only in Japan can you buy a car at the auctions with no car key and then literally have a guy come here right now tonight who's gonna cut me a new key and program it to the immobilizer and have it all done within an hour. Like this is ridiculous. It's nearly, uh, I think he's getting here in like the next 20 minutes or so, which will be 9 p.m. He's then going to cut it and do it all for us. And then the car will be ready to load up on the truck and have a key programmed to it and everything by 10 p.m. That is mind blowing. And the fact as well is he's doing it all very, very cheap. If I took this to Nissan uh, from a few friends that I called up, they said probably be anywhere from $1,000 to like $1,500. The guy's doing it all for 500 bucks, so. I'm pretty hyped about this right now. I was not expecting to have this key cut and ready for the car to start, um, at least for a couple of weeks. And uh, I think now we'll actually find out if there's really nothing wrong with the car and it just needs a key. If that's the case, I am gonna be so hyped, but I'm trying not to get my hopes up because <laughs> it'd be very, very smart of the owner to just not put the key in there and make it seem like it's missing a key if there was something very wrong with the engine um, so that then people would buy it like me thinking that there was nothing wrong with it. But if we do this all tonight, I can actually get my money back because there's a uh, rule with the auctions where if there's a problem or something like that before you take it off the lot, then um, you can pretty much claim it and get it back. Or you can, I think you can claim as well if there's something wrong with it that wasn't on the auction sheet within the first couple days, I think, after taking it off. Something like that, I'm not entirely sure, but we can at least figure that out now that we're getting the key cut, which is awesome. So the guy is here right now, literally cutting the key to the 350Z. I'm so mind blown that this guy has everything in his van and he's getting it all done. 
super excited. The only problem we now have is we've got to figure out a way to get it out of here without forklifts. Apparently none of these cars move, so we're hoping we can get the keys from the security to be able to push this out of the way ourselves. So the guy's currently in there using his laptop with Windows XP, mind you, which I haven't seen in a hot minute to program the immobilizer chip in the key. But uh, I'm still mind blown. I cannot believe that this is all happening same day. It's crazy to me. I've just been going over, like checking a few things and like looking at the dipstick. It, it's kind of like insane. Like, hang on, let's see if we can do this. Hold the camera and everything. Nice golden brown oil. It's not black. Um, looking inside the engine here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks pretty much brand new. Hang on, let's see if we can get you guys in there. Look at that. It looks like it's brand new in there. I think <laughs> I looked for holes in the side of the block before too. I was like, what if this thing's like got a rods hanging out the back? And it looks really good. No damage or rust under the thing. I'm way too excited about this. No way! Wow! <laughs> no knocking in the engine bay. <laughs> That's <laughs> like bugs flying out of it. Dude, this is my fuse repair right here. Just crammed a bunch of wire in there to make it work. This is awesome. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Roab, can you believe this? It runs. <laughs> I'd fist bump you, but I'm holding up like all these lights. Dude, we've been here for like two hours trying to figure this out. We had to remove an immobilizer. I had to do some dodgy repairs on a blown fuse. Good times. Now we gotta pay this guy, he did an amazing job. The key guy is now gone, we've got this thing idling. Give her a little rev. This motor sounds so good. Yeah man, she's ready. Dude, I can't, this thing has not been running in over a year by the way. Last time this was running on the auction seat was a year ago. So we gotta now play a little bit of Tetris and try and move this car out of here. And then um, we should be good to move this and put it on the truck but it is late. What time is it right now? It's 11. 11 o'clock. So we were here for like two and a half hours trying to get the key programmed and everything, but uh, aftermarket immobilizer, had to remove that, which I, oh, the door's locked, but you can kind of see the wiring mess on the passenger floor there from that. So definitely the longest day that I've spent at the auctions. It's a lot of steam coming out of this. Is that just condensation? Probably because it sat for so long. It is cold tonight too. Yeah, it's dissipating really quickly. Everything on the dash looks good. There's no weird lights or anything. And you want to know the mileage? 102,000 kilometers. This thing's just ticked over 100,000 kilometers. This car is worth like 17, 18 grand in today's market right now. I also got to fix this all up, but <laughs> we'll do that later. We'll just drive with it like that for now. I'm so excited about this, it's late. <laughs> but we got a HR 350Z. Everything, including key, is probably setting me back $5,000. That is incredible. It's time to build a 6Z drift car. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Take us slow, slow and steady. It's definitely been a while since this thing's moved on its own power. Yeah, you should just clear that. You might want to bring your mirrors in though. Oh, dude, it may not start. Oh, you will. Oh, good call. Clutch start. I like it. Watch your mirrors. Oh, uh, there you go. I was going to say, I don't know. <laughs> Haven't owned a 350Z before. Oh, man, this is so good. Filling up that car storage yard. Me and Rohab got the same route home. 
but uh, I still cannot believe that we got this 350Z HR model today. I'm literally like a kid in the candy store right now. I'm so hyped. Oh no, it's one of these moments right now. It's one of these moments right now. You'll always be with me. And you'll always be my brother. <laughs>